to you, things have been building up very nicely over the last couple of days in the lead-up to this game, but as you can see, the last couple of hours are a rather different story. The weather has decided not to play ball. The conditions here are a long way from ideal. It is teeming with rain, and that has left both teams contemplating very different challenges. It's almost old-style. Understandable looks of concern on the faces of managers, officials, players and fans alike. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Lorenzo Insigne. One thing he excels at is cutting inside from that left wing, Peter, to take a shot with his right. He's far from a one-trick pony, though, and he's really good at varying his game depending on how the opposition are, are shaping up. Usually, he finds space and he does something very good with it. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Jorginho. Spinazzola. Well, each team knows that they're still well below standard, and it's a question of... Uh, which can uh, find a way out. Over to the left. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Out to the right. Well played, he saw that coming. And it's played forward. And here's Immobile. There's a long ball. Accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution. Heads it! It's broken loose. And that has been clubbed away. Now it's Insigne. Insigne spreads it towards the left. And here's Jorginho. Oh, good interception. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Jorginho hoists it forward. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Lorenzo Insigne. Oh, nice touch. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, sweet feet. There are a few waiting for it. And it's Jorginho. Now it's Insigne. Big chance! Oh, and with that, the half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Mm -hmm. Strong opinions on the first half. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. So, we're just settling back into this second half. Italy can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Chiesa. Bonucci. Florenzi, Chiesa, Florenzi, Ferretti, attempts to play it through, gorgeous control there, can he deliver? Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. 
That's believing too much in his own ability to hold on to the ball. Switzerland are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. Um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Lichsteiner plays it forward. Benucci. Jorginho. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. And he has shown him a yellow card. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Laid down the flank. Shakiri keeps everyone guessing. Up to meet it. Goal! And late in the day, a telling moment. That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Switzerland making another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. <laughs> Switzerland get themselves into the lead. Look, I just think they've kept at it and got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. And it's Insigne. A really good feat. Marco Verratti plays it out to the flank. That is terrific skill. Chiesa plays it in. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And here's Florenzi. Jorginho. It really is now or never. They need a goal, however it comes. Back into the middle. Back in once more. Xhaka attempts a clearance. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Chiesa needs a quality cross. Jorginho out towards the flank. Here's the chance to cross. Lorenzi drills one in. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. One goal.